In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a hemp mat to grow your microgreens. The items that we need are a hemp mat, which you can cut to size. I'm using a container which measures about 16 cm by 16 cm in square. And I've cut my hemp mat in that same measurement, which then goes into this, right? So it is the same size as the container, all right? So you need a container. You need your hemp mat. You need water. This I've just put it into a small container. You need your seeds. Uh, I'm growing arugula or even rocket. It's the same thing. And uh, it's got about 15 grams of seeds in here, which is more than enough for me to sow probably about three times into a mat of this size. Uh, and if I'm using a smaller container like this, probably another uh, three times or four times more. I also need a spray, a spray bottle for me to spray onto my container. To sow your seeds, uh, the first thing you would want to do is uh, to have a container with no holes. So this is a solid container here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this water into the container and I'm looking at pouring enough for me to fill the surface and that should do it all right there's enough water here for me to fill the entire surface and what I'll do now is I'll take my hemp mat and I will dip it into the container here so that what I'm doing is soaking my hemp mat I'm going to turn it around and soak the other side as well so that I know it is thoroughly uh, soaked okay now I don't want too much water in it and I'll keep doing this until I know that it is thoroughly soaked. I may have to do it once or twice, keep turning it around. And then what I'll do is any of the excess water here, I'm just going to pour it back into my container. And I know that I've got everything there. If you miss out on any spots on, on your mat and you can see it, all right, then all you have to do is to spray on it and that should do the trick, okay? So that's step two, right? We don't need this anymore, so we'll put this aside for now. So now that you've got this all soaked and uh, ready for your sowing, all you need to do now is to take off your seeds from your seed pack and pour it into your mat. I'm gonna take my arugula seeds and I am now going to sow my seeds onto the mat here, all right? And really all you need to do is, and it takes a bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, is just, just start sowing it until the seeds come out and you have a nice big blanket of seeds on your mat. And as you can see, I still have enough seeds in here for me to sow probably another, I don't know, three times. I want to make sure that the seeds are properly lodged onto the mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a nice spray. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and moist. So that's basically it. I've got my seeds and I've got them soaked nicely. I've got enough seeds here. And now what I want to do is to give it the blackout period. So I've got a similar um, container here which I'm going to use to close this and give it the blackout period so this is going to stay here in this way for about three days um, and then we'll see that it starts to germinate and this is basically how you sow your seeds and this as you can see now um, our seeds have germinated and you can see that it's all yellow and it's growing so the hemp mat is still moist. It's nice and moist, you can see. And look at the underground. The roots have started to grow. What I would do now is to give it another spray of water, just to keep it moist, to ensure that it's moist. And I'm not going to open it yet, all right? I'm not gonna open it out to the sun. I'm not gonna uncover it yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the cover, which um, I had used to do this, and I'm gonna turn it around the other way now. Okay, so I'm just going to do it this way and before I do that, I'm going to spray it with a bit of water just to keep it moist and I'm going to turn it around this way and I'm going to add some weight onto it. Okay, so 
I will put two pieces of stones here that is going to give it some nice weight. And the reason we do this is so to strengthen it, all right? You will see, and I uncover it in another one or two days, that the stems are a lot thicker and stronger. We're now into day four since we sowed the seeds. Yesterday, we opened uh, the cover from its blackout period, and we saw that the seeds had germinated. But what we did was we closed it back and added some weight to it. Now, I want to show you why we did that. If you look at uh, the containers now, and if you look at this, I'm going to give you a side view, you can see that it is slightly raised here. And the reason that is happening is because the stems are growing now. So let me just remove the weights here so that you can see what it looks like now. So I'm going to remove it and you can see that it's got a really good growth now, right? Some of it is uh, depressed largely because of the weight, but I'm going to give it a nice squirt of water again just to keep it moist, keep the hand mass moist. It's grown a lot more. It's still very yellowish, but that's all right. It's because it's got no light. And once we expose it to light, they all will turn green. The state of the microgreens as is now, if you look at it, because of the weight, it is kind of, um, you know, bent and uh, not very pretty looking in terms of the way it's growing. But, you know, this is not really a problem because what will happen is once I put it out to light, um, the microgreens will start to, uh, you know, grow in the direction of the light and they will straighten out. So this is, this is not a bad sign. This is a really good sign. It's germinated well. Um, the stems are nice and long and, you know, they're growing well too. So I'm really happy with this. Basically, that's it. We've uh, germinated the seeds and they can now be exposed to light. And I'm going to leave it out for another three to four days for it to start growing uh, before it's ready for harvesting. So this is kind of uh, the stage where you leave it out and we'll check back on the growth of our microgreens in a couple more days just to see where it is at. Hello again. We are now into day five of our microgreens, growing microgreens on the hemp mat. Um, we sowed these five days ago. Uh, to be precise, it was a Saturday when I sowed the seeds on this hemp mat, and it's Wednesday today. So that's five days ago. And you can see that I've got a really nice lush growth here after five days. Uh, of sowing the seeds. The stems are nice and, and, and tall. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the growth here. I could harvest them now, but I think I'm just gonna wait for another maybe two, three days more. Um, if you look at the microgreen here, this is, this is really the cotyledon that you're seeing, the two leaves on the stem. And I, I'm probably going to wait until the uh, leaves are a little bit larger, uh, perhaps wait for the third leaf to come out before I uh, you know, harvest the microgreens. So with arugula or rocket salad, it does take a little bit longer when you're growing it on the hand mat. I have found that if I grow it on um, a soil-based medium, the growth is a lot faster. It usually takes about maybe um, five or six days before it's ready for actual harvesting. So now, uh, if you are, if you do want to harvest it at this stage, then it's really easy. Uh, what you need to do is have a, a little bowl or, or something ready for you to uh, put a container for you to put your microgreens in. To harvest your microgreens, you would just basically snip off uh, maybe just slightly above the hand mat. So you don't get none of the hairs from the hand mat, but what you're looking at is getting the actual stems and the leaves itself. Okay, so this is this is basically it, um, and this is the end of the video. Um, you could harvest it at this point. You could let it grow a little bit taller and wait for it to uh, have maybe one more of its true leaf showing. Um, you know, it's it's fine either way. 
I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something. And, and if you have any questions um, or any concerns about you know growing your microgreens on a hemp mat, feel free to send us an email at info at everythinggreen.sg. Happy growing, everyone.